I'm fine with constructive criticism about the channel that I do. I always say I don't hate the people I feature on this channel. I'm one Christian of the flock. I'm not a pastor, but I try and include scripture when I can, and I think it's very important to do that so people can go, okay, the Bible's saying this, and the world's doing this. Makes sense, right? But there's some people that really don't do much to help the cause, right? Some people just comment and some people are pretty rude about things. And again, that's all fine, but uh, not many people show these signs, symbols, and agendas. There's Christian channels on YouTube and a lot of them I like and follow. I don't agree with any of them 100% on things. I'm never like endorsing a channel, although I shouldn't say that. I do endorse certain channels or I have in the past, but that's come back to burn me in a certain case where one of them, uh, Pillar, of, Pillar of Truth Christian Church, I can't even remember his name right now, but, uh, you know, he, he had some good flat earth biblical cosmology videos and stuff like that. And I thought was teach, he taught from the KJV and everything. Tyler Doka, that's his name, right? He, he went off and opened his third eye and thought he is Jesus Christ. I don't know if he still thinks that or if he's recovering or whatever, but... Anyway, that's an example of being like, okay, well, I thought he was my brother in Christ. He is clearly not Jesus Christ. And to think that is absolutely ridiculous. And there's people that follow him still. And, you know, YouTube, it's, it's not all perfect, right? And there's a lot of phrases like you can't please everyone all the time. I know that doing this channel. And there's a lot of people that, like, for example, if they come on my channel and they don't like me talking about biblical cosmology, they let me know in a very obnoxious way and they're, they're full of hate and venom. And I don't go to globe believers channels, people that are like, we for sure live on a globe rocketing through outer space. Nothing matters. Big bang and evolution, that kind of thing. I don't go on their channels and go, you're such an idiot. This is such an idiotic thing. I stay on my channel and say, well, if you'd like to hear my thoughts on biblical cosmology and me point out that NASA, Freemasons and Nazis, and that kind of thing. There's many, many Christians that know biblical earth, and it's painfully obvious once you know it. And it's about, are you trusting God and his word, the Bible? Or are you trusting man and the theories of this world? And that's what people don't understand. They're defending man and satanic theories. They're defending Satan is what basically it all breaks down to. And it's annoying and obnoxious and frustrating. People talk about, like, you know, stick to salvation and that kind of thing. Stick to the gospel. I do bring up the gospel almost every video. Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection, according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. We're sinners in need of a savior. Jesus died for all sin. Nothing you can do to earn your way into heaven. It is all a gift from God. No one can, like, clean up their life enough and now they're good for heaven. No, it's a good thing to clean up your life and clean up your house. But we can't save ourselves. Only Jesus can save. So it's very frustrating when I get Christians attacking me for telling them the truth. Their foot will be in their mouth, and it actually is right now. They will find out one day when God shows us creation, right? There's waters above. God flooded the earth in the beginning. How did he do that? Did it just rain a bunch? No, no, it did not. There's waters above and not outer space. Anyways, this video, I've shown Cedric Villani before. He is a former deputy of the French National Assembly, and he's a mathematician, right? So we're seeing a mathematician. He's got a book, Birth of a Theorem. Sounds very math-like. And what, what do you know? He's got one eye symbolism on his book here. Is that a coincidence? No, no, it is not. He is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, wearing a nice French beret. <laughs> But he's doing the gesture of so-called enlightenment, right? And there was a guy on uh, RV's video, uh, They Live Truth. And uh, he's, he's like, all you do is Google things. And like, there's more involved into that. And I, I don't see him doing it is the point. Anyways, it irritated me because he could have just said, hey, thanks for sticking out all these years in, uh, you know, in the truth community and trying to get people to understand the biblical world. So Cedric Villani is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. He's on a, a book cover or a magazine about space, and he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there, and he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands there. Is he so enlightened? 
I don't think so. I'm trying to show this. These signs, symbols, and agendas run the world. It's important to know them. Again, not many people show this daily. I'm trying to help. I really want people to go to heaven. I don't want people to go to hell. Brothers and sisters and everyone else, God bless you.